cam on the left side of the Allen Hollow of Bear Run. And I was walking around from some of the known house coal mines in Bear Run. It was down on that road where the water is right there. You notice there's another coal mine here. There's all types of coal shale laying right at the entrance down there. I'm guessing the entrance is going to be back here, probably in this area. One other thing I do, and I'll put this in the notes, uh, I always mark the elevation in, of all the house coal mines, all except, uh, I think, two out of a, now we're approaching 40. The elevation of the mines where the coal runs above sea level elevation, 1,190 to 1,270 above sea level. So the coal runs pretty consistent. If you're on the same hill, that coal will be within 20 feet. Now if you move to a different mountain in the valley, it, the elevation does vary. Came at the site of the Allen Hollow coal, house coal mine. It might be hard to see it the way the sun is, but there are bits and pieces of coal here. Dug three test holes. Might just be a collapse. I couldn't find an opening in this one, in the Allen Hall. You can see there's water seeping out of it. So I know there's a mine back in there. As I said, there's bits and pieces of coal on the ground here. That first house coal mine in the Allen Hall back there, well, 50 yards at least, I decided to walk at the same level around the hill deeper into the hollow. It would be hard to see this. But you see there's pieces of coal on the ground here. So to stay at the same level, we figure it's got to be right up here in this steep part of the hollow. And you see there's water pouring out of the Allen Hollow. And sure enough, as I walked above it, I did see an opening up here. Again, right here. See this old depression. This probably hasn't been used in a long, long, long time. But I'm sure they dug coal right here. Another reason I say that, look at this water pouring out right here. Look where all the snow is here. It takes some digging, but it might be worth a try. Now, while you might not think this is a house coal mine, and I'm not 100% until I start digging, I started kicking dirt around, like the facing here. There you go. Bits of coal. Now look at this. Pack. Okay, I've done some, some substantial digging here. <laughs> it's only about 20 degrees today. I've dug almost as far back as I can with the shovel because if I get up underneath the ceiling there, you can tell it's going to keep collapsing on me. And this mine is a collapse, at least on the left side here. You can see the left wall that they dug out right there. So I started following that back. Let me see if I can get the camera in here. Do you see how the that shale is collapsed up in there? I may try to dig that portion out. But it does go back in there. In fact, <laughs> as I've been digging, I could hear rocks hitting water in there. And you know remember <laughs> okay just as I'm sitting here. Um there is water seeping out of this at the front here. So there's water back in here. I'm probably still up high in the mine. But that's unfortunately about as far back as I can get it. As you can see, like right there is one of those solid coal wall or walls where they dug and chipped the coal out right at the back there. Yeah, if I somehow could get that out of the way, I might be able to see back in there. It looks like it's collapsed at least about eight feet back from the, where I started digging here. This is the second house coal mine in the Allen Hollow. I did not expect to find this today. I just decided before I left the other one, which I could not find an opening in, to walk up coal level around the hill further into the hollow here and find this. I was actually looking for that old house foundation of the Allen Carpenter house where they lived up here before they lived down at the bottom of uh, Bear Run there. 
that this Allen Hall feeds into. And my grandfather was Allen Carpenter. That's why they named this hollow Allen Carpenter, or actually the Allen Hollow. My uh, grandmother, Velvy, was born up here. There's no doubt that her family used this house coal mine. And my uncle, who's still living, 83 years old, said that uh, one of his uncles, which would be a great uncle to me, that married into the Carpenter family, dug coal out of these mines up here. So I'm going to do a little bit more digging, but it doesn't look like I'm going to get into this because of all the collapse. You can see how that's leaning right there off of the side of the wall. The whole center of this is collapsed in. Unfortunately, that rock right there is a hard rock, as is the one closer to the ground there, so I can't get around it. As far as my camera's going. Okay, just right past that rock that's fallen there. I don't know if I'll be able to get to it, but there was a post right behind it. And that's why it's still open and kind of behind it, but just too deep in there. Try to squeeze back up there. Hopefully that's getting the post there. I'm still at that second Allen Hollow mine. And the dirt above that hole I was digging collapsed down into it. Not much, maybe a yard of dirt. So I dug some of it out. And unfortunately, I think this collapse goes back further than I thought. Okay, right there's that first post that we were looking at. Now, you could see in the center of the screen a second post. But it's just like the more I dig, the more it collapses. I don't even know if I get past that second post. I don't want to. You could see the collapse here. Yeah, there you go. Looking past that post there. You can see into the mine. Fortunately, it focuses on the post in that out here. Hmm. Interesting, like most of these are. wanted to show you one more time the precarious position this mine is at. Uh, you see how steep this hillside is here. I mean, it doesn't look like there's any path. I'm sure this was the path at one time. Just erosion over the years has filled it in. Made the grade the same. But this is a steep drop down to the creek here that comes out of the Allen Hall. You see this wet line here? That's the water running out of this mine that I just opened here. It did move a lot of dirt, but uh, Mother Nature moved some of it for me when it collapsed, right where that split is there. It'd just be too much. It's, it's too bad because I could see the second post in there. Let's take one more quick look here. Sure, wish I could get back there. Interesting run behind that post. Now you can see the wall off to the left there. I just can't get behind this pile of 
collapse here in the center off to the right. Oops. <laughs> wait, wait, that's that post there. I dug out enough, but unfortunately got into the big rock here. I just can't, can't get around this. Yeah, it looks like there's more collapse in there, unfortunately. All you could see is the wall to the left there, on the far left. More rocks falling down in there. Just too much of a collapse in this one. Yeah, all you could see right there is the black, you know, markings on the wall to the left where they were digging. But it looks like there's more collapse in there. That's about all we're going to see. This was actually the third day. I came back in the morning just to see if I could get around that post. Well, I got past it a little, but you can see there's just more collapse in this mine. That's that post there. You can see where I dug the hole off to the, well, get it in the center of the screen there. But still don't have enough room to get the camera on there. This rock right there, I've pounded on it. Just can't move it. Okay, right where those stack rocks are, you see where this little bank of snow is. And then there's another set of stacked rocks right there in the center. I believe this is where the Allen Carpenter house was, right on this little flat up here. And the flat is uh, in between the two coal mines. This is where like, they had a little retaining wall back here, behind the house. So I did find that much.